So you're feeling bored, hey? Guess what? You're not wrong to me either. Cause guess what? You wanna make a gaming YouTube channel? Well guess what? Today in this video I'm gonna show you all the things you need to know on how to make a gaming YouTube channel. Let's go have a look. Okay, so number one is recording. For one, you have to think about what type of games you want to use. For example, things like Roblox or Fortnite. Most things you want to see that you think are trendy or cool, you can use. But if you want to do anything, you can do anything you want for this channel. This is how to make a gaming channel though, so you're going to have to see other things in the future. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to use is a recording software. I have one right here, luckily, and it is called the Elgato Game Capture HD. And, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> I think so anyway. There we are. As so it says Elgato Game Capture HD and this will tell you basically everything you need to know inside of the thing. So the next thing that you probably want, might want to use if you want to and if you're allowed to and like me then I have to wait till Christmas to get one of these. Well guess what? You can use a webcam. This is my oh gut. This is my Logitech Pro C922, and well, that's all you're probably gonna need to know for recording. Okay, so number two is capture. This is how you have to capture your things in Elgato. Number so the number one thing that is gonna have to look like when you're recording at Elgato looks a bit like this. So, it, apart from the PlayStation in the background, it just probably says things like that. But in a few minutes, or a few seconds for you guys, I'm going to show you how I connect it and how I do things like this. Alright, I'm going to move to my second setup and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so now we're at the second setup. I think it starts to use some of our laptop work. So, now this is actually, like doing the more diff other parts connected to it so like still capture but still this is ha this is basically what you're going to need to do on the output side you're going to need one usb uh, one hdmi connected to the xbox and one other hdmi connected to the tv if this doesn't work then just simply switch switch them around like this and then the capture will show up on the screen on the app on the elgato app that you should you that you're probably going to be able to use and i will put in the uh and, pro and i'll probably put in the in uh link in the description below so yeah i've swapped them around now so then it, then if the capture works then yay <laughs> it all has worked so now to add in the um to add in the what you call it to add in the webcam if you want to use this you're gonna have to use this little button at the bottom where it says where it says uh, stream cap stream things i forgot what it said but it's like near the bottom it says stream things and and then once you've clicked onto that there's a little button in the bottom in the bottom right of that little tab area that serves like an add symbol if you press on the add symbol in the box it should say add, add webcam and then c922 or whatever type of webcam you use it could be mostly i'd use it by logitech but it's up to you guys so well uh, it's time to show you then what happens next on to the editing for editing you're gonna need to get a uh, editing software which is pretty obvious it's called the uh, editing software i use was called sony vegas pro uh, since well, the one I used was t uh, technically for me it was C9 no I haven't pfft, was Vegas Pro 16 which was actually pretty good and I still use it to this day and that started about two years ago in 2018 so from then to now 2020 for me anyway for you guys it can be like for any year <laughs> well that's just pretty impressive anyway and this editing software is pretty good and then what you're going to need to do to upload to do, upload it is just save it by pressing rendering uh, add in a website to link it to uh, it's a short way that you can use to link it to youtube but i won't do that because it's way more glitchy i would just render it to your save file 
then once you've done that, all you have to do is go to YouTube, and then uh, and and then it will say upload a video, save in files, and then yeah, you just do that. And also in Vegas Pro, you can add in clips as well and cut them up by press. Uh, you can cut them out by pressing S and and adding new ones in by pressing the booklet folder thing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did recording it. It took me about half an hour to make the video. Well, I see you all later, soldiers. The next video I will be making on how to record things will be how I record on iPad. See you.